Warning! This video contains mature content, whether that may be blood, gore, language, nudity, any of that stuff. Watch at your own risk. Kids under at least 13, do not watch this without your parents' permission. Hello, everybody! Welcome to Super Ninja 20,000 Reactions. I'm your host, Super Ninja 20,000. Today, we're going to be watching Real vs. Blue Season 16, Episode 8, Recovery. I apologize for the AC. It will not shut off. We'll wait about 20 minutes for it to turn off, and it is not yet, so... We're making this video anyway, because I don't have any other time to do it. So, um... Carolina is back, which surprised... Well, not surprises me. Excites me. I want to see what she's about to do. The last time, though, took her sure you can dice Cyclops in the mall. And won. And now we are going to see what the heck happens next for this crazy group of super soldiers. So, we shall begin in 3, 2, 1, and start. And not start. And start. Have I ever told you about my cat? Oh, Wash it is wrong! Wash it's back. He's back. Logan was always getting into trouble. One time, he got stuck up in a tree in our backyard. My mom's about to call the fire department, but dad stops her. He says he'll handle it. So he sends her inside and gets out his chainsaw. Oh no. Oh yeah. <laughs> dad was never much of a cat person. So. He starts to cut the tree down, but it falls the wrong way, right into the power line. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh. Poor Loki, with electric falls 30 feet out of this tree. Lands on his feet, walks away like nothing happened. Impressive. This other time, we found Loki in the dryer after my ma had finished a load of laundry. Another time, we find him in the engine of Dad's truck. You get the idea. Catholic to be 25 years old. Nine lives. Sounds like your spirit animal. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Surprising it's all gonna get shot through the neck. You were right about the fresh air. Dr. Gray tells you about this place. There's a training course nearby where I like to teach. Show me. Ah, uh, I haven't seen one of these since basic. You wanna race? Come on, Wash. You're on the men. You are not in any condition. He's doing it anyway. I said doesn't fine, matter. Carolina. Trust me. You're just scared you'll lose one of these. You didn't stand a chance before, before you got old. Oh, would you say? Oh yeah, there we go. If you're gonna give me a head start, you'll regret it. She's just walking Sorry across. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, Mom. Today is not the day that you beat me. That's cheating. And yeah. just walks across. Oh, that, that, that was smooth. Ah. Oh, no. No shame in asking for help. Shove it. <laughs> just how easily she takes it. Oh. What? You okay there? What happened? Your bar snapped. You took a tumble. I know that. The hell is he even doing out here? I'm not in any condition to race, Carolina. I know. Next time you're feeling competitive, find someone else to challenge. You can't rush me like this. Wash. Whatever. Let's head back. Physically speaking, Agent Washington's Dang. recovery has been remarkable. I'm not concerned about his body. This is middle state. Still suffering from these lapses. Hmm. Not uncommon for someone with an injury like his. How frequent are the episodes? Hard to say. So if this isn't a good time, I can always come back. Nonsense! It's just an autopsy. I didn't trigger you for the squeamish type. Please, continue. Wash There's the body, though. Perfectly normal one minute, then seemingly at random. You know, there has to be something else we can try. Hold well, this, please. See, the brain is an organ. Like any other part of the body, it will repair itself to a point. What that point is, only time will tell. Wait and see. That's not very comforting. <laughs> really? As it happens, I'm not especially known for my bedside manner. You, on the other hand, have made a wonderful nurse. Agent Washington is a lucky man. No. I wish <laughs> I had a better partner. Someone to I have for him. Louis, he's a soldier. He shoots, 
you get shot. That's the whole design. You can set that down anywhere. I think <laughs> you still haven't told him. Not yet. I believe it will slow the recovery. For my patients, I prefer to lay everything out on the table. I can see that. Washington was the strongest freelancer. Spiritually. Every time he was hurt, he would just bounce right back up. Mm -hmm. If we tell him, he's a broken man. It's better this way, Dang. I think. I don't know. Quite the paradox you found yourself in. I'm not a man. Dare I ask, have you heard any word from our wayward sheep? I'm sure no. the rest of the can handle themselves. I'll have to go help them. Wherever they are. It's more of whenever, just wherever. It's way better than the last one. Shut up, go away, leave me alone. You thought about what I said about our team up? Never gonna happen, Sparkplug. You work for the people or things that destroy pizza. So congratulations, you've invented something worse than Nazis. Not And that's the other thing. I'm not working with a talking lens flare. It's stupid. Really stupid. I'm not a lens flare. Yes, you are. It's a sentient light beam. It's not that weird. Heck, you're the one made of blood and bones and meat. Please stop talking about food. <laughs> Not my friend. It wasn't his fault, though. Yeah. How exactly is that? Well, oh, Maddie. To understand what really happened to Doc, I have to tell the story of the beginning of time. The oldest myths of my species tell of a great yeah. war between Griff's gods. not gonna Stop it. That. I am not sitting through fucking exposition. I'll tell you what I saw. At night, when you were sleeping, Doc would become someone else. He would transform into this other Doc with weird voice and Oh, uh, oh Maddie. Maddie. And they're gone. Please. Dylan here. Call me. So you need to get this. Call me. I think I might be losing my mind. Call me, call me, call me. Carolina, finally. Hi, Dylan. What's going on? You found the guys? You could say that. Hold on. I'm going to send you something. You might want to sit down. That's, uh... That's Tucker. Did you <laughs> find this on the internet? The Guggenheim, actually. This painting is apparently 2,000 years old. Bullshit. It's been carbon dated. It's real. And apparently Tucker isn't alone. This one's Mayan. Lopez? And this is Egyptian. The inscription is 5,000 years old. Caboose? Oh, oh my god. No. I've been sitting around thinking, Dylan Andrews, you lost your damn mind. And then I thought, Luca built a time machine. I saw it work. Right after that, the reds and blues went missing. And now they're showing up in history books. Carolina. Please don't say it. I think the reds and blues Don't. Are not. I'm time Ugh. This situation is very strange. Understood. <laughs> um, unlike time, I was worried when they didn't show up on chorus, obviously. But it's not unlike them to get lost. Just, oh God, not this kind of loss. <laughs> Normally, when confronted with something I don't understand, I consult the experts. Scientists. But time travel isn't a science. I checked and proceeded to get laughed out of the building. But I do know one person who might help. Seems to know more about time travel than anyone living. Problem is, he's on location. You'll have to go in person. Me. For the sake of my career and sanity, I'm sitting this one out. Any chance it'll fix itself? The reds and blues might get unlost in time, right? Possibly, 
But that's leaving an awful lot to chance. I mean, caboose with a time machine. I'll hop on the <laughs> Yeah, perfectly easy way to figure that out. My sister's really here. Yeah, she's in a place called England. I found her while I was scouting around. And she's alone. Is she in trouble? Uh, she's not, not exactly. alone. She came with your friend Tucker. Tucker too, huh? And you, they got one of these time guns? Uh-huh. I can get us there. You changed your mind. If we work together, and I mean if, it's just to get to my friends, okay? Okay. Just to be clear. I'm not she just to wants to get home. I'm doing this because I don't want to spend the rest of my life without seeing a flushing toilet. Too much information! I've also got some demands. Number one, no more exposition. I don't want to hear about your gods or your titans or your wars or your quests or anything. Got it. I can keep a lid on it. Honestly, I've been oversharing as it is. I'll I want to know some exposition. Number two, no talking in general. I'd give you a thumbs up. But I ain't got no thumbs. Which brings me to number three. Can you put yourself on a dimmer or something? Dunzo, if you're finished, I have a demand of my own. What's that? Please don't joke about black holes. A black hole killed my parents. They are really scary. Deal. To England! <laughs> Deal. How far is it? Italy to England? It's a hop, skip, and a jump. <laughs> we'll be there in no time. Once something I like that. secret mission from the gods and traveled from the core planets to the outer rim and back again in a few seconds? <laughs> That was a trip. You just broke all three rules, Huggins. Right. Technically, we hadn't started yet. <sighs> sure. Ooh, yes! Huggins! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I can't call her Huggins. It's just necklace. Navi. Looking for you? Tried calling. I've been out walking. It's awful late. Couldn't sleep. What's up? So, I have some news about our multicolored friends. They're in trouble and need our help. Thank God, I was starting to get bored. When do we lift off? I was going to hop on the next transport out. Dr. Gray said she'd keep you company while I'm gone. It should only be a few days. Hey, if the gang's in trouble, I'm coming. You're on the mend, Wash. I'm fine. More than anything, I need something to focus on. A problem to solve. All this sitting around is making me feel fuzzy-brained. We're just going to talk to Dylan's expert. Nothing serious. Sounds fun. Trust me, I'm fine. I know myself. I take a hit, I bounce back. I know you do. Uh, Reminds me. Yeah. I tell you about my cat, Loki. Oh no. Nope. Had him back when I was a kid. He was our family pet. How many times has he restarted this Loki conversation? Was always getting into trouble. Oh no. That's just sad. And we are done. Um, that was slightly, even on a sadder note than most of the Red vs. Blue episodes. Because most Red vs. Blue episodes, you know, like a funny joke or something like that. But no, this is Wash with basically all um, short-term memory loss, Alzheimer's, something like that. Sort of messed up my thing. And it's sad, but at least. The, um, at least Carolina and Wash are going to go help the Reds of Blues. Wash will probably get fixed along the way. Go for Fix Fix Pizza. Pretty good episode, though. Um, actually had some feels to it instead of just funniness. So, as always, please like, subscribe, comment down below what you like, check to next. So, as always, Super Ninja 20,000, Saturday!